juga Betul uh, so Maksudnya perjalanan uh, healing tu sendiri Adalah satu hijrah hati yang memberi kita uh, Orang kata perjuangan uh, Sebab harganya syurga itu sangat mahal uh, Kalau harganya sangat mahal Ia memerlukan effort Ia memerlukan hasil kerja daripada kita sendiri Insya Allah. Okay, moving on to probably last, I would say, if you go to uh, the fifth questions, uh, how can Islamic practices such as uh, zakat and sedekah contribute to healing and pro- pro- personal growth by helping others in need? For that, I think this question is very interesting. I would say because people don't really relate that in a sense. Okay. Yeah, I okay. think. And then I just saw that you shared yesterday about the app that you can sadaqah directly yes, to. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, yes. And that's about that. So mm. yeah, we have a new feature on yes. the app where you can basically um, make sadaqah jaria, inshallah, through the different campaigns that we introduced throughout the month. So you can check out that feature, inshallah. Okay. But definitely, subhanAllah, we're in the month of Ramadan and everything that we do is multiplied, especially when when giving sadaqah. And sadaqah can be in different types of forms, right? Mm. It can be, you know, monetary it can be wealth money it can be even a sadaka of giving a smile making somebody yes. happy it can be a sadaka of spending time giving advice yes. you know helping somebody out cooking cleaning all these are forms of sadaka that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala records and multiplies for you in this month of Ramadan subhanallah so i just want to share with you uh, just something uh, from the Quran uh, it's from Surah Al-Baqarah 245 Who is it w- that would loan Allah a goodly loan So he may multiply it for him many times over And it is Allah who withholds and grants abundance And to him will be returned In another hadith, Abu Hurairah reported That the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said Allah continues to fulfill the needs of the servants As long as he fulfills the needs of his brother So just think about that for a while Like, Allah will fulfill your needs What do you need? What is it that you need? You need, okay, I need money. I need a new car. Okay, I need a new spouse, maybe, no? Yes, I need, <laughs> I want to have children. Yes. Uh, I, need, I need love, I need patience, I need, I need happiness, I need joy, I need peace. What is it that you need? Whatever that it is that you need, Allah will fulfill your needs as long as you help your brothers in, and sisters in need. How beautiful is that? So we know that when we go out to help people, mm-hmm. you know, um, with the intention to please Allah, Allah will give you back. Allah will give you back. If you're in need of healing, Allah will heal you. Whatever it is you need, Allah knows more than you know yourself what you need, right? Sometimes we ask Allah what we want, but Allah will not give us what we want all the time, but He will give us what we need. Whether it is true hardships or blessings. And of course, the one thing that I remind again, sorry, this is going off course a bit like <laughs> it's okay. It's you know, one thing that I one of the hadith that I love is about is about um, the hadith of a believer. There's always good for a believer, no matter yes. what happens. Mm. In ease, when Allah gives us ease and blessings, we are mm. grateful. grateful. But then when we are in hardship, we are patient and in mm. both circumstances it is good for us. Yeah. Right? So I know it's a bit off topic, but that has really helped me navigate myself through all the different circumstances that Allah has put me in mm. through this uh, this journey yes. of life. You so know? it's easier for you to bersangka baik. Yes, think yes. good of Allah. Mm. You know, Allah says in the hadith, yeah. um, you know, I am as my servant thinks yes. I am. So if you think good of Allah, you believe in Him in the way that He has taught us uh, uh, through His beautiful names yeah. and attributes. Yes, exactly. I was about is, to mention. You know, He is, uh, you know, all hearing. He's all powerful. Yeah. He is the most kind, the most loving, the most gracious the most yes. merciful so you won't lose hope at all mm. in your Rabb you will not lose hope and that is I think one of the most key things is to not despair believe that Allah is with you and no matter what you're going through you know like the prophets right they had so much tawakul you know they had so much faith in Allah that they knew like you know what this is happening to me right now but I know Allah is with me and I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best and tie, and tie my camel Right? Mm. Like Musa alayhi salam, right? He was right at the front of the sea. You got Fir'aun, you mm. got his enemy coming after him, gonna kill him. But what did he say? Allah is with me. Yeah. He, you know, he, 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 he uses his staff mm. and then the, you know, the sea the parts. Sea, yes. You know, Hajar, she, you know, goes around yeah. looking for water for her baby. 
right? SubhanAllah, but she has so much tawakul and she knows that Allah is with her, Allah saves her and gives her water, gives her what she needs. So similarly in our lives, you know, we need to have that faith, that kind of um, tawakul in Allah and He will give you whatever it is that you need in whatever situation that you're going through at the moment. I, think I know it's so off topic, like and you know, no, going back to yeah, Sudakam. Yeah, it, it's okay. <laughs> it's still related because yeah. uh, I, I think this in these senses, you know, by the end of the day, it always goes back to the Quran and also the Sunnah of the Prophet, you know. And then as as a brother, as a male, you know, as a husband, those days, uh, <laughs> uh, I think I looked up. Segan dulu nak cakap kan? Who's your example for? Why do you do? Why do you do 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 this, Kamal Effendi? When my reason was actually the Prophet, because that's the only person who I feel deserve to be looked up. You know the way she treated the wife, the way she handled the pain, the way she heals. Subhanallah. Yeah. And then, even so, when when the Maulid came, when we speak more about Rasulullah, I can cry. You know? I I I feel like, and we never met this guy. Nobody, yes, but yes, <laughs> you know, yes. And then how perfect the the way she, the way he handles things, you know. If you want to back to talk about healing, you know, you go back to Sirah. There's so many stories of Sirah. Yes, there's so many. The 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 stories of Dawa how. How he was inflicted and thrown stone at, you know, and then how he goes to gua untuk apa ni bersorangan, you know, the thing that I could relate. You know, as I was grieving, I would definitely go to library. I'll go to empty bookstore, and then when I think about this, I think about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then I feel blessed because it's maybe slightly. Feminine thing. I feel blessed because I'm a man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because I could relate directly. But don't feel bad for women, <laughs> because we have sister Khadija. We have Khadija. Saya dina Khadija. Allah Akbar. Macam sister Khadija saya kenal pula. Allah Akbar. Because we know. Because when you read, you know, you feel. You know, when you read, you feel. Well, so what I did uh, also before Ramadan is I read about the Sirah of uh, Rasulullah. I reread books. I like to reread books because I feel like I want to be like this. Uh, I w- what and then when I have, uh, I'm not sure about Sister Nina, but when I have uh, conflicts or whatever, I feel like I want to go for reference. We always goes back to uh, what the people before us did, you know. Uh, so I think that's the best. Not I think I'm sure it's that's the best way. Uh, we actually have. Can we go to the sixth question, or d- yeah, or do we want to open the floor? Because this sixth question is not that because we already covered just now. Question. The, oh, the sixth is question is about um, are there any specific oh, yes. Islamic teaching or resources that you recommend they explore further? Okay, Bismillah. Um, I think uh, in terms of healing, definitely I would suggest to uh, read uh, Ustaz Yasmin Mujahid's book. Both her yes. books. Yeah, that's my Reclaim first book. Your I read. Heart and um, the emptiness. And uh, feeling the yes, emptiness. Yes, emptiness. Yes, mashallah, mm. beautiful books. Um, Ustaza Dunya Shuaib also has yes. some books. Um, uh, her first book was about gratitude, so I think that's a, that was a wonderful journal to to go through. Uh, you can also get my book as well. I have a book <laughs> called Light for the Lost Soul. I was about to mention. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah, that will also be a, a source of. Are you care. thinking about a poetry book now? I am. Okay. I am. Yeah. I'm compiling. Okay, uh, Alhamdulillah. It needs a lot of work, but Inshallah, khair. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, by end of this year Ameen, or next year, Ameen. Inshallah. Um, and definitely, uh, you know, you, go th- you can go to Call Me app. We have quite a number of videos and classes that are offered uh, in uh, when it comes to different subjects, when it comes to the deen. Um, I think that will also help um, your journey in, uh, you know, getting to know the deen better and, and getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, but yeah, I think these resources and, and yes. many others as well. Yes. Like you were mentioning, you know, Al Maghrib and, mm. and all these amazing uh, classes that are yes, offered faith online, faith yes. events as well, and many mm. other, many mashallah others. tabarakallah, um, organizations. Yeah. Yeah. So when you go back today, I hope everyone you can follow a group of people that you think good for your heart and then. Yeah, it 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 will blossom through it will blossom through there, 
and then you will also take take this moment in Ramadan in Ramadan to start <coughs> off your journey because I believe at least that one person here coming with the intention to be a better person coming back 